since Jay and I get a lot of emails a lot from people that want to be in the industry their email says something like this can we go to coffee can I pick your brain and while that's kind of gross, but okay. I love to help people. You can't help everybody. And I have learned that unless they have skin in the game, you end up giving away information and then they don't do anything. With or it. they're picking your brain so that they can, not to be paranoid or a skeptic, but that, so that they can like compete against you. Like really, it's well, I don't it's have any competition. Oh, okay. Nobody does I mean, what I do. I, I agree, and and nobody nobody, nobody creates a, a a tasting experience like what I right. do, but we've had I've had it happen. Like I've had people literally shop me, sit down, pose as a bride, and I'm talking about a cake business owner. Hell yes, it happened, and then I was like, and I thought it was legit, and all of a sudden, guess who I see at a bridal show? Like not even six months later. That's I'm just like, dirty. Like, just um, be up front. Just uh, be up front. Right. Okay, so the question for today uh, that one of our viewers asked, she says, I am looking for outlets to get leads. Do you have any suggestions? There's Wedding Wire, The Knot, print magazines that are not giving her return. No and shit. And neither is the Chamber of Commerce. She said, I've been trying all these outlets for four years now. So the girl's been consistent. She said, I sell luxury. I am in networking circles, and I'm just wondering, was there something I'm overlooking? In my opinion, yeah. when you're in luxury, aside from all of the paid advertising right. online and stuff, you've got to be consistent in your marketing on social media. And that means along with your brand. Yes. For sure. And like, some of that can be free. A lot of it. So even though you're trying all of these things, like start at home. Well, but look. Do your own stuff first. If you're, if you're tracking everything that you're spending in your advertising budget and you've got, a, you've got your expenses tracked like in QuickBooks, mm -hmm. you are going to very easily see if you're tracking your sales and where they found you, you're going to be able to very easily determine your return on that investment. And as I said before, Ange, but like no other time in the world, you have so many resources at your disposal that is absolutely free. And just for the record, even before I went on TV, I didn't advertise for almost five years yeah. after that. And it wasn't because of TV. It's word of mouth. It is. It's like, referrals. And if you do a great job with it'll the be, wedding parties and the easy. families, like... And it vendors. Comes, and vendors. And vendors is your biggest. It comes back to you. Our biggest source still to this day is word of mouth. It's referrals. 100%. Yeah. And... It's your responsibility to create a cohesive package in your branding strategy and your marketing strategy to be able to rise above all of it so that it's, it's saturated in the marketplace and then follow it up with a good customer service and good product. Follow through is the number one reason that people lose business in our industry. Yep. So make sure that if you have a process, no matter busy season, not busy season, 365 days a year, you've got to have a process. You've got to follow it. And do not pay for leads, period. It doesn't work.